So now let's get on with our code to create the user listing widget. So I'll go back to my sublime and let's get rid of top menu and also you know, uh, yeah, we don't need this. Uh, I'll create a new file inside source components. Let's create a folder called chat. Okay. And in that we'll have chat user list dot view. Okay. All right. So yeah, this is going to be the user list. Now, one thing is that now, I would want the user list to be stored in some place um, know, central, right? So what I'll do is I'll have to create a store then. So in inside source components chat. And in that folder, we'll create chat store dot JS. So quickly set this file up, create two, three constants constant first one will be state okay and then we will have a state as user list which is going to be an empty object and inside mutations we will have a mutation called set user list which will have state user list and yeah pretty simple right and now we will need to create one action which is actually going to commit that mutation so we will call that set user list this is something which is going to be triggered from within the component okay we will pass commit and we will send the user list now this is where we are going to do the HTTP call. So we'll need to import view here. Okay. And in that we'll do view dot HTTP dot get. All right. We will create a variable called user list URL. Okay. Now this is something which I'll have to create in my config. API domain plus API slash V1 okay slash user list okay and yeah that's about it now we'll need to import it also so we'll go back and in this import user list from our config file so we are inside the store we'll go two step back and then we'll find the config file okay uh, i think because we are making an http call we will need this header as well so our final chat stores set user function should look something like this now i have edited it a bit and if you see we have a return uh, it's only because i wanted to show a loading animation or some state before we get the user list because when we are doing it on a server it may take time right so yeah we have some returns here so the entire http get request is returning a promise when we get the response we are checking whether the response is 200 and then we are committing the set user list mutation and we are again returning the response data so this in turn is you know going to give us a promise which we can handle in our user listing so now let's start with the component the chat user list we would want that this component is only aware of the data through the store and it doesn't do any you know, http call or anything so the first thing which we will have to do is get our uh, now vuex map state we will import map state okay from vuex and 
we'll have to do the computed properties we'll have chat store I don't think I, we have included it or um, yeah we haven't included it so let's uh, add that chat store okay uh, from chat okay and uh, then we need to add this so the chat store JS is done it will mean now this is available this is correct okay and then in here we are going to create a use ul and li and in this I can now do v4 equals user in chat store dot user list okay and for now we are just going to show the name of the user okay so obviously it is not going to return anything um, we haven't called that function and we haven't set that you know um, store in here we haven't imported it so first let's import the component import chat user list from this is the chat page so we need to go one step back and then we will get components chat chat user list and in our components we will define user dash list will be chat user list okay and then in here user dash list and we close it okay now this is done components is here and I'll need to add the state here as well map state so let's import that right we will do this dot dollar store dot dispatch the name of the function which we have created so if you're not you know, sure this is the one okay. set user and we don't need to pass any argument obviously we need to set the computed properties so computed uh, map state and let me just copy it quickly okay and this is done now if we load we will get a 404 error because we haven't handled the uh, request in our server application i'll go here in our api.php we need to create those urls right so if you remember the url had a slash v1 prefix basically i want that all the urls which i'm creating right now should be under a version so we'll create a route group now this is laravel no uh, prefix sorry we'll have v1 we'll add the middleware okay and the middleware will be auth api and then we do our function thing okay in that we'll have a get url which is going to be user dash list we'll pass it to our user controller at the rate get user list okay so far so good okay we d oh i don't have a user controller even now so let's quickly create that yeah i'll go into my terminal um, inside the server so php artisan make controller user controller I'm here. Uh, okay, this is panel, so no, I don't want that. Public function. What is the name of the function? Get user list. Sorry. And for now, let's keep it simple. We will return an array where the data and dollar data will be user all okay 
Uh, I'll need to import that. So, what happened? I thought it's going to um, use it. So, it's not doing that. So, for now, let's manually add that dollar data and the response will be 200 fine this is kind of okay should work no it gave some error hmm class http controller controller not found what is that namespace the controller is inside app then is it something which i deleted i'm not very sure anyways okay it is getting the user list so you can see that i have one user in here let's quickly add a few more um i have name foo email oh sorry as well bcrypt function and password okay that's created uh, let's add one more so two users created i hit refresh and we have three users in here okay um order by name sending get hmm what happened okay typo order by fine so I have a b and f so yeah this is how you know we have the user list now obviously we need some formatting but that's something which i'm going to you know uh, leave it to you i'll automatically add the css and you know you can at any point of time refer my css on the github code but yeah now the basic idea is by default no content will be shown once i click on any user i fetch the conversation and i give him the option to chat with him and one thing i'll have to remove myself you know i am amitav roy so yes this should not happen that's a logic which we will uh, handle in the next video